What is going on guys? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. Okay, Google today dropped for the Pixel 6a, the September release update. But in addition to that, this is actually the first quarterly platform release, as you can see here, for Android 13. So what it actually says is this update will install a beta version of Android 13 quarterly platform release on your device. This pre-release version may contain errors and defects that can affect normal functioning functionality of your device. Downloading updates over cellular data or metering Wi-Fi connections may lead to additional charges. Important, if you are currently running a non-beta stable public release of Android 13, you can opt out of the beta program before applying this update without wiping your device. If you choose to opt out after installing this update or any future beta updates, your device will get wiped per usual program guidelines. To learn more about the Android beta program or opt out, visit g.co slash Android beta. This is dropping in at 448 megabytes. Let's go ahead and take a look at these release notes and changes for this update. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, thumbs up this video, and let's go. All right, so as you guys can see here, these are the release notes for the first Android 13 quarterly platform release. And you can see these release notes actually dropped on September 8th. We're just now seeing them. And you can see this is actually going to be available for a couple of pixels. So for the QPR1 beta one, this is eligible for the Pixel 4 and 4a 5G, Pixel 5 and 5a, 6 and 6 Pro, and obviously our 6a that we're using. So mainly what I want to show you on these changes and updates to this, you can see the top resolved issues are the developer reported issues where it was fixing an issue for some devices that mistakenly caused a user's emergency contact to be dialed from the lock screen. And then the other traditional resolved issues are various issues fixed for the Pixel 6a device that made it difficult for users to unlock their device or set up fingerprint unlock, fixed an issue that caused the system UI to crash in certain cases, such as gesture from the edge of the screen to go back, which we actually experienced ourselves, and then also the fixed an issue that sometimes caused the 5G icon to be displayed instead of 5G ultra wideband icon, even when the effective device was already successfully connected to the 5G UW network. So these are just some of the fixes that they made for this. Now, as traditional for quarterly platform releases, these typically have some new features. We're gonna do a deeper dive and see what we find. I know there's a bunch announced, but I haven't seen anything in regards to them being available just yet. So we'll keep you posted and let you know what we see. But for now, guys, thumbs up this video. Thanks for watching. We will catch you in the next one. Peace.